Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to use log file analyzer within SMrush. You can access this tool under on page SEO and tech SEO log file analyzer. Basically, log file is a way of uh, it is a web hosting file which automatically gets created in your web hosting account. Uh, you can access it through cPanel under raw access or you can ask your web support uh, team to get the file for you and when you upload that file to SMrush it will give you some certain insights which you might get access to it to know how the user request are being handled, what kind of resources and what kind of action is taking place. So in order to do that first you need to take the uh, log file. I'm going to take one of the log file I have already downloaded and I'm going to upload it here. You can see I am now uploading a log file here and it's automatically uploaded and once I done that click on start log file analyzer depending on how big our my log file is it will take time. This is one of the sample log files so it will do it very quick and as soon as it's done it will give me what are the date what's visited my website and how uh, much uh, time do I want to take and see the data whether it's all time data, one day data, seven day data, 30 days data and it will give me a graphical interface on how my how bots are interacting with my website. So you can see from different days how many times the Google bot visited and status of pages within my website it was uh, received and what are the file types also. So it is giving status code here with the graphical interface with the file type also shown here. And if I scroll down, it will give me the data from its by pages from all the different pages. How many times the bot entered that part and what is the crawl frequency when when it was lost crawl and if it's had a last status issue, it will show me for the example, this feed it added 301 and it say that this resource has inconsistent status code click on the icon to see more details so every time it is getting a different one so i need to go and try to fix that issue depending on that i'm getting several different one so basically depending on the status it will show all or if i want to see only inconsistent status code issues i can see that and try to fix that and last code status also i can obviously if you find something four zero some errors you try to fix it as soon as possible so you can do all the issues and fix all the data by analyzing log file within smrush log file analyzer 